hearing from a traveler brave enough to step in and to help stop a man from stealing a police officer's gun at Hartsfield Jackson International. Now, this military veteran sprang into action when money, many others ran for cover. And police believe his actions and the actions of others stopped what could have been a deadly mass casualty incident at the world's busiest airport. Fox has Morris Diggs is live for us tonight at Hartsfield Jackson with our story. And Morris, what did that traveler tell you? Well, he sees this APD airport cop overwhelmed by this attacker, the man grabbing at his gun. Well, with the help of two others, Timothy Farrell was able to get the officer's handcuff and bring that attacker under control. A woman had yelled out, he's got a gun. And um, at that point, um, I started to remove uh, my backpack. And then there was a second yelling, um, he's trying to get his gun. He was at the crowded airport during the holiday crunch. Traveler Timothy Farrell had just arrived from New England and walked up on an airport cop who had been ambushed physically and was lying on the airport terminal floor. The alleged attacker on top was much larger than the cop. There was uh, some screaming and some yelling while we were trying to control the individual. So, um, but there were, there were people that were uh, very scared. Farrell joined two other men who ran to the danger, trying to prevent the attacker from grabbing the cop's sidearm. He got his hand on it, almost getting it out of the holster. It was an especially dangerous situation. There are 16 high-powered bullets in the APD weapon. He had uh, blood around his mouth, uh, blood inside his mouth. Um, and he was completely incoherent. I mean, if the gentleman was going for the officer's gun, he, he would have gotten the gun. Farrell, who has a security background, calmly helped defuse the situation. As we tried to get his other arm around, he again became a bit resistant. I said, look, just calm down and give me your arm. And I was asking someone get me the police officer's cuffs. I even asked the police officer a few times, you know, give me your handcuffs, give me your handcuffs. But he was very unresponsive. I mean, he was nearly on the verge of blacking out. You all may have saved the officer's life. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, yeah. but, you know, I'm not sure. Right. So, but, uh, you know, I just hope he's okay. That officer will be okay, but I also have the perspective of cops who work out here at the airport beyond perhaps saving that officer's life. You have a crowded situation, the holiday rush in between there. This happened last week, 7.30 in the evening when the airport is packed. You see the law enforcement rounds, they are high velocity, high powered rounds. If he got his hands on that, he might have been spraying those bullets, and those bullets can penetrate from one individual. One bullet can go through one individual and go into others, harming them, injuring them. So really, the three men all together uh, really did some hero's work here, and the commander here at the airport tells me he wants to recognize all of them and bring them downtown to headquarters to recognize them. Reporting live from the airport, I'm Morris Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, Morris, we are all appreciative for their bravery.